All right, Smithers and Sharks, here we are. This is room 31304. So we did get a slight upgrade from the standard king room up to a king room with a strip view. Didn't even intend to do that, but since we have it over here, I say we take a look. Come on in. It's the Ace of Vegas, the Ace of Vegas. Uh, we're going to floor 31. Yep. Thanks, sir. Uh, so we're going to floor 31, babe. <laughs> you can't hear a thing. No, I can't hear a thing. <laughs> I've noticed that. What's going on, dude? We're going to floor 31. We're going there. Yeah. No, floor 31. <laughs> In we go. So first we're gonna start with the restroom here. And the door doesn't open all the way. I thought that was kind of interesting, but when we come in, you immediately get to the porcelain throne here. Actually, I think it's kind of good if you're having a party, then you can immediately get there. Um, obviously, you've got your proper folded toilet paper here. Emergency roll back here, as it should be. And then a neat feature, you actually have outlets over here. That's kind of funny. So you have two USBs on it and then two outlets there. So it's a super modern little feature there. Unfortunately, they don't have a water closet, so that's a bit of a disappointment. But you do have the appropriate amount of toilet paper. One extra roll in the back. You got the full-size mirror over here. It's actually a little too much mirror, I think, up this way over here. But you get to see a little bit of everything as the hand wash and then you get a little bit of body lotion. That's a lot of body lotion, wow. And that is, that is amazingly large. I've never seen anything, I've never seen anything like this. It's actually pretty impressive. And of course you have your Kleenex too. Um, it's got these gold faucets here. I hate that they're gold though, it's a little gaudy, but that's workable. I do like the counter space though, so that's pretty nice. That's a pretty full-size mirror. More than full-sized, really. And it's lit up on the sides, so... Yeah, you can get the entire crew in here. Hair dryer and towels are all lined up on the bottom of the sink in neat little compartments. We do have the almost rain-style shower over here, so you get the rain shower head. Again, it's the gold. I don't particularly enjoy the gold here, but... It works, and it's more than appropriate. It's a Vegas height. For reference, we're looking at about six feet here, and reaching up, probably get eight feet. And you also do have the detachable shower head. In addition to being appropriate, it's a Vegas height. This is definitely a good size. You can fit one or two people in here, if you know what I mean. And then they also still have these giant canisters of body wash and shampoo and everything, so you don't even need to bring your own toiletries unless you really want to. All right, so coming in to the main room here, we do have our full-size closet. It's not a walk-in, but it's sufficient. And you got a decent amount of space in here. So irons up top. Get your luggage rack on the bottom over here. Plenty of space for shoes. You have the ironing board over here. Luckily to go with the iron. Some of the rooms that we've stayed in have not had the iron to go with the ironing board. I thought that was hilarious. But we have that. And then we'll take a walk around the main portion of the bedroom here. We do have the lovely art on the wall. And then the the lamps, so we got a floor lamp. We also do have the bed lamps here, sitting area, and of course, you've got the bar with the television, too. Let's go ahead and go through. We're gonna break this down a little bit.
So the first thing you're going to notice over here is the forbidden mini bar. So this is the snack portion. Everything's in cube form. Now on the offhanded chance that you prefer your energy in cube form like a transformer of some sort, you can enjoy that here. And then if you're on a liquid diet, we do have some obnoxiously overpriced drinks down here. No charging kit in here this time. It's not Aria. But we have those available for you. And you know what? I think I'm probably going to put the total prices on the screen as well, if that's something that you're interested in. All right, moving on from that, though. On the other side, we do have a proper mini bar over here. So mini fruit, so you can fit in your water. If you bring some uh, champagne, that's just enough space for it. These are also removable and adjustable. So if you have taller bottles or larger bottles or something like that, you can fit those in there. Good way to store the snacks and things that are a little less overpriced. Immediately to our right here, you do have your drawers for storage. So plenty of space in this bad boy over here. And additionally, immediately to our right here, not only do we have a drawer for storage, but we do have the in-room safe. We also do have climate control in the room. It's the better part of nearly 120 degrees outside, so we're gonna cool this down a little bit. And apparently 69 is about as low as it goes. There we go. Awesome. Also while you're here, we should take a look at the view here. So this is the purpose of the room. We do have a view of the Vegas Strip, so bad news is it is partially obstructed because we are on the sign. So you know that giant light up sign? Yeah, that actually does go in front of some, uh, <laughs> that does go in front of rooms here. So if you do get a partial strip view, be prepared for that. But you can still see the entire pool area from up top over here. Then if you look down, you see the plaza, you see the wind, you see the Encore, Treasure Island, you see Mirage a little bit off in the distance there too, Cosmo at the way end, and you can see the vast majority of Vegas from here. All right, most importantly, now that we're getting back over here, we're gonna go check out the King Size Bed, but there are a couple extra little features that you should know about. One is the iHome. Now, neat little thing, this does have USBs up front over here, USB-C and regular USB, in case you want to plug in. It'll actually wirelessly charge your phone. Additionally, it does feature Bluetooth technology, so you can Bluetooth and charge at the same time and not be concerned. Or if you're a little more old school, we still do have the classic analog wired phone over here we can call down to the front desk and do what you need supported by a few more outlets on this side too and then finally we have the plush new resorts world bed over here and i think it's time to uh, see how well this functions i think we're gonna have to we're gonna have to jump in on this one over here you want to help me out one two three what do you think it feels kind of like memory foam. I think it is. I think it might be memory foam. All right. Well, Spinners and Sharks, I think that's the end of the video over here. Definitely mad shout outs to uh, Resorts World Hilton for uh, giving us our upgrade over here. Again, completely complimentary. Didn't have to ask for a thing. So even without trying the $20 technique, we're still 10 for 10 on it. So not too bad, not too bad. And on that bombshell, this is Ace of Vegas signing out. We're wishing you strong hands and of course, Happy spending, you guys. Viva Ace of Vegas. Viva Ace of Vegas. Viva Ace of Vegas. Viva Ace of Vegas.